a shotgun. Smith's going to have to get this one down. That's big. And Lebanon has a man jump on the pile. That was weak. But a big, big loss for Riverdale out of the shotgun, and, and Smith never had a chance. That's going to give us about a third and 20 right there, Tommy. Negative 17 on that play, and Trey Smith decided, I'm just going to get down on this as we the clock runs with about 50 seconds to go in the first half. Well, I might want to think about a timeout right here. Third and very long. We got the best punt block bunch around. 38 seconds and the clock's running. The ball's going to be spotted at the 26. Riverdale. Smith fakes it to Van Hoos. Takes it, cuts it up oh. the middle, and he's got some running room. He's he could gone. go. He, he could go. He's gone. He's across the 30, oh, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown. On that run, 73 yards from scrimmage on the midline option with 18.2 seconds to go. They run the option. Smith keeps it, and he goes to the house for a Riverdale touchdown. Mm, 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 mm. That hurts. Bob, he rode that full back in there and kept it. Took off. Went pretty, all the way. Pretty play. We just we had to make one stop to get in the half, and we couldn't do it. Kicking the football will be Beckwith. Smith will hold. Snap, spot, kick is up, and it is perfect. Riverdale, Riverdale 14, has countered seven. and now lead Lebanon 14 to 7 at the half. That's all right, though, Tommy. We've got time to run a kickoff back right here. We're going to take a 30 second break and we'll be back. This is the Blue Devil Football Network. Riverdale goes 73 yards on a third and 19 play by Riverdale. The quarterback takes it 73 yards for a touchdown. Beckwith has added the PAT. 18 seconds left in the first half. Riverdale now leads Lebanon 14 to 7. Kicking the football for the Warriors will be Quinn Beckwith standing deep at his own goal line is DeMarco Hastings. Fairchild and Jacob Maynard flank him. There's the kick. A ground ball right up the middle. Going to be fielded by an up man for Lebanon. That's Stafford. Still on his feet. And he goes down at the 30-yard line. Stafford, Jordan Stafford, the sophomore. Returns it to the 30. His old man got it. <laughs> His own man ran over him right there. He hesitated. He had a man cut in front of him, and he kind of took a step back. And when he did, his own man kind of hit him there, Tommy. He might have had a little something. 11.3 seconds to go. Lebanon trails 14 to 7. DeMarco Hastings is in the game at tailback for Lebanon. Matthew Maynard under center. Benford gives it deep to Hastings, sweeping left. Bounces it around the side and doesn't get out of bounds. Out near the 40, and that's going to be the end. Now they've called a timeout. Lebanon has burned a timeout right here, so Lebanon going to get another chance with a second down and about two to go. About eight on that carry for DeMarco Hastings as Lebanon takes the timeout. We'll keep it right here as we'll be coming up with a, uh, a, uh, a big break here at intermission. Three minute, uh, three point six seconds to go in the half. Riverdale oh, leads Lebanon 14-7. Toe problem. You know, he can burst one. I think a screen is one of the prettiest plays in football. If, if you can get somebody coming in deep on a pass rush, of course, they're playing their uh, prevent on defense right now, so you got to. Lebanon's in the gun. Last play of the half. Maynard drops back to pass. Cranks it deep. Throws it for Hollingsworth near the sideline, and it's out of bounds. That's going to be the end of the first half. The the we end. have a score of 14-7 to 7 in favor of Riverdale. 15. We'll take a two-minute break and be back with all your halftime festivities. Two minutes. This is the Blue Devil Football Network.
Randy's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of Lebanon Blue Devil Football. Randy Johnson and all the gang at Randy's Barbershop would like to wish the Blue Devils good luck and much success on this year's season. From Randy's Barbershop, go Blue Devils! I'm Mayor Don Fox, the city of Lebanon, and I'm proud to be able to say that we sponsored the uh, uh, Lebanon Blue Devils uh, football program and all the athletic programs at Lebanon High School. I'm a graduate of Lebanon High School and proud of what they're trying to do and are doing. I'm Tom Oakley of TFO Guitars. I support Blue Devil football. If you want to turn your guitars and amplifiers into cash, call me at 615-943-9404. Go Big Blue. I'm Johnny Knowles, and I'd love to wish the Lebanon High School Blue Devils good luck and much success in this upcoming season. If you're watching this commercial while you're in jail, give me a call, 449-4717. EASI Drug Screening is a proud sponsor of Lebanon High School Athletics. EASI can develop customized drug screening programs that will help prevent drug use among students and employees. If you are an employer or a parent and have concerns, give EASI a call at 453-4532. On-Call Medical and Pharmacy is a proud sponsor of Lebanon High School Blue Devil Football. Linda Durham, Jamie Johnson, and Lisa Newman want to wish the Blue Devils good luck and much success on this year's season. From On-Call Medical and Pharmacy, go Blue Devils! Hey, Blue Devil Nation. My name is Benji Thomas, and I work with the youth at First Baptist Church. And on Wednesday nights, we have The Rock at 6 o'clock, and we'd love to have you out there. On the first Wednesday of each month, we have pizza and door prizes, so come out there. It will be Grayson Powell. Grayson Powell will kick off deep to return for Lebanon, DeMarco Hastings, and we are underway in the second half. Line drive kick comes to Fairchild on the near sideline at about the 12. He tries to get it in the middle of the field. He breaks it up inside, gets across the 30 where he is met and buried by a group of Riverdale Warrior coverage men, 19 yards on that return by Fairchild. Lebanon will put it in play, first and 10 at their own 32 as we scrimmage here early in the second half. Tommy, this first drive of the third quarter, like always, that's all important drive. You need to gain a little momentum right here. You need to try to make a statement and get the ball rolling down the field. Maynard under center, bobbles the snap, gives it to his brother on a little cutback run. Jacobs swinging back to his right, picks up a little yardage, and he's out near first down yardage. That play was designed to go left, and it was the old zone play. We had him sealed off on the backside, and Jacob Maynard did a great job of recognition. Doing a good job of, of uh, reversing his field right there. Had the sweep called to the left side. They had it pretty much hemmed up. He did a good job of planting that left foot and cutting back to his right, going across the right end and picking up 12, 13 yards to get that first down. Miles Dillon in at right guard, Walker at left guard. Maynard under center, gives it to the fullback, Benford on a blast right up the middle, and he gets it out to about the 45-yard line. He is met immediately by Riverdale's Aaron Ibalarosa. Ibalarosa is the brother of 
a young man that played quarterback at Oakland, and Terry remembers that uh, episode over there many moons ago when we went to Oakland, and I asked the guy doing the PA, how do you pronounce, how do you pronounce that guy's name? And he goes, he about a rope <laughs> I said, well, how would I pronounce it? <laughs> Second and eight for Lebanon. Give us to the tailback, and Maynard cuts back. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. He's got first down yardage, but I believe this one is coming back. Again, the zone play where he starts left. That's where it's designed to go, but we had him sealed up on the backside, and your tailback has to have some vision to read the cutback, and it was there. Well, we had him sealed up. We had him sealed up and tackled, it seems like. <laughs> we, <laughs> but, um, you yeah, know, they've got us for holding on that one, but it, it was a good-looking play there again, cutting back against the grain, going back the other side. They had it stopped on the left side, and he cut it back to the right for another good gainer, but they got us for the hold, Tommy, so we've got to rally the troops right here, and we've got to do something here on this repeat second down. And the ball will be spotted at the 35. Second down, and about 18. Wow. Long down and distance. What you got to do is chop this thing up. Get a few on second. Get a few more on third. Thins out the playbook with 18 to go. Twin receivers left, one right. Maynard under center. Benford is the fullback. Fake it. Looking deep down the middle. Throws it to Hollinsworth, who catches it for a first down, and he's dragging Riverdale defenders with him. Hollinsworth on a deep crossing pattern. It took a little time. He got that time from his offensive line. Maynard laid it on the money for the 27-yard pickup. Not bad at chipping away at it, Tommy. Goes in there and picks up the whole thing in one play. Good job of execution. Good job of holding them out. He had time to throw the football. When he had time to throw the football, he had time to find a receiver. Hollinsworth there for the big catch. Hollinsworth showing up big time tonight for the Blue Devils. Lebanon in a slot left. Give the ball to Maynard. Running left. Jacob trying to find some room. Keeps that motor running and he's bounced out of bounds. Be careful on that sideline. <laughs> see Bobby K down there dancing around. <laughs> she better not get too smart after that Galton yeah, episode. She don't want to get rolled up again. No. Maynard with a healthy little game there on first down. The ball's going to be spotted at the 34, 33-yard line between the 33 and the 34 of Riverdale. You got Tyler Walker has come to the sideline right here right now. That's a big old kid, and if he's got something hurting, you know he's hurting well, big. Kramer Tuggle in, taking his spot for the time being. Maynard under center. And the flag comes out. They caught one of the linemen with a little bit of a flinch just as Maynard was trying to change the play. We are our own worst enemy on this drive. They overcame the holding penalty with the Maynard to Hollinsworth pass and catch, but now an illegal procedure will be whistled against the Blue Devils. Well, Tommy, I don't know if it's got anything to do with it or not, but when you've got a different quarterback, you got a different cadence, you got a different sound. It's never the uh, same, is no, it? No, it's not, and, and that could make a difference. Maynard under center, looks to throw, on the slant, Crudup's got it, and he's tackled. He's close to first down yardage too, Tommy. Robert Crudup on the little slant route, very safe pass, he's at about the 27-yard line. He is close to the sticks, and they will bring the chain gang all the way across the way to measure this out. 